Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have interesting exponential equation 16 to the power x minus 12 to the power x equal to 9 to the power x. So if you have any suggestion, if you know the answer, write your answer in a comment. So let's start to solve this. The main idea to solve this exponential equation is to divide both sides by, for example, in our case, let's divide both sides by 9 to the power x, but you can divide it by 16 to the power x or 12 to the power x as well, it doesn't matter. So let's divide both sides by 9 to the power x. So we will have 16 to the power x over 9 to the power x minus 12 to the power x over 9 to the power x and equal to 9 to the power x over 9 to the power x. So just dividing both sides by 9 to the power x. So this will be equal to 1 for sure, because we have the same nominator and denominator. And these we can write it in one parenthesis, because we know if we have different bases but same exponent, we can write it in one parenthesis. So we can write it as 16 over 9, all raised to the power x, minus 12 over 9, raised to the power x, and it will be equal to 1. So, what are we going to do next? We can see that this we can divide in nominator and denominator by 4 or 3, 3 for sure, and this we can write it as 4 square and 9 we can write it as 3 square. So let's do this. Let's write this 16 as 4 square, let's write this 9 as 3 square, all raised to the power x for sure, minus, let's divide both, both nominator and denominator by 3, so we will have 4 in our nominator and 3 in our denominator to the power x equal to 1. So we can use right here the rule that we use right here. So we have different bases but same exponent, so let's write it as 4 over 3 to the second power. So we will have 4 over 3 to the second power and for sure all raised to the power x minus 4 over 3 to the power x equal to 1. So this and these are the same but let's simplify this a little bit. So we know we should know the rule of interchange. So if we have if we have a to the power x all raised to the power b it will be equal to a to the power b all raised to the power x. So we can swap this exponent for sure. So let's use this rule right here. This is our x, this is our b, so we can swap these exponents. So let's do this. We will have 4 over 3 to the power x all raised to the second power minus 4 over 3 to the power x equal to 1. So this is good equation for us because we have 4 over 3 to the power x right here and 4 over 3 to the power x right here. So we can use a substitution. So let these 4 over 3 to the power x equal to, for example, t. So let's write this t instead of 4 over 3 to the power x. So we will have an interesting quadratic equation for sure. So we will have t square minus t minus 1 equal to 0. Let's solve this. For sure I will calculate the first z square root b square minus 4ac. So it will be equal to square root b square 1 minus 4 times ac. It will be with this minus it will be plus plus 4 it will be equal to square root of 5. And let's find our solutions. T1 will be equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and for sure T2 will be equal to 1 minus square root of 5 equal to 2. So we have two roots, we have our substitution, but take a look. We, need, we don't need a minus value and we don't need a negative value, so we need to reject the negative value of square roots. So let's look on this square root. For sure it will be positive square root. Because 1 plus square root of 5 it will be positive for sure. 
And let's take a look right here. 1 minus square root of 5, it will be for sure a negative value. 2 and something minus 1 minus 2 and something, it will be minus. So this root we reject. We don't need this root. So T2 is not good for us. So let's solve the equation with our T1. So we have a substitution 4 over 3 to the power x equal to our t, 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Okay, how can we solve this? For sure, using log, let's take a log from both of the sides, log 4 over 3, and for sure right here log 4 over 3, and this on the left, and this on the right. This will be equal to 1 for sure, because we have log a base of a, it will be 1, and this x jump right here on the left, so we will have x equal to log 4 over 3, 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2. And this is our solution. For sure we can simplify this a little bit using a log rule, log property, so let's do this, I will write it right here, so we can write it as x equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and log 4 over 3 in our denominator, so you can calculate this with your telephone, so this is our final answer to our interesting equation, so if you agree with the solution, if you disagree, write your suggestion in a comment, write your answer in a comment, so, and thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.